A cape is one of the most important items in old school RuneScape that can be used for fashion, show prestige for completing a hard challenge, or even show wealth or incredible luck. In the 15 years I've played RuneScape, I've always used things like skill capes and the fire cape as goals to progress my account, but there are still so many capes that I've never owned or even seen before. So today I am starting a journey to get every single cape in the game with my new account, Cape Freak. This account is a hardcore Iron Man, meaning that I cannot trade other players or use the Grand Exchange. So every cape must be earned from its original source, and if I die, I have to go all the way back to the beginning and try again. Welcome to the All Cape Iron Man. All right, we are here in the world as a hardcore Iron Man. Always got to do a few things right out the gate here so first thing we are going to do is we're just going to go ahead and pickpocket some men i think a good goal right out the gate is to start doing beginner's clues uh because there are two capes that i can get from doing beginner clues there's the parrot on the shoulder and there's also the jester cape so i figure it'd be kind of fun if i ended up getting one of those fairly early i also am planning on getting the highway man the the, the black cape just as normal you know, that's the first cape that everybody gets, and this account will be no different. All right, 78 gold so far. Not great, but not horrible. I think I want to get, like, 250 gold right out the gate. I, I definitely am going to need some health. I'm going to need some combat-related things. I might just try and right out the gate to go do, like, some magic stuff to go get uh, Witch's House done so I can have the HP. That definitely does sound like a really good idea to get sooner rather than later, but I do also want to make sure that I get some of the early magic levels. So easiest cape that we can get right now is the black cape. That one's just going to be absolutely simple. Same thing with the cabbage cape. Cabbage cape is a toy store item, so we can grab that extremely easily. The jester cape and the parrot on the shoulder are going to be the ones that I'm really kind of worried about. Okay, 255 gold is plenty. I think that should allow us to buy a steel axe from Bob. Uh, we are going to need to do Winter Tot because 99 fire making is a cape. So we absolutely have to go do Winter Tot at some point. I'm honestly kind of thinking of just kind of biting the bullet and getting that done early. Now I am sitting here also realizing that I need to do some fire making. Let's go ahead and chop trees until i get level 15 wood cutting and we'll also train fire making at the same time we're going to train fire making to 15 and we're also going to go to 15 fletching if i can welcome to an early game iron man <laughs> not much to do here just uh sitting chopping trees and generally vibing by the end of stream i want to have five beginner clues done i think i think that's a good goal to start five beginner clues doesn't seem like a lot i know a couple of the beginner clues do have grinds that are associated with them being able to fish trout is a big deal i think we're just gonna go and slaughter some goblins we are also going to be training magic while we do that first thing i'm thinking that we need to do is witch's potion absolutely witch's potion is going to be extremely important for us so we need to grab an eye of newt we also need to get an onion at some point point. and then we also need to send imp catcher i also think that imp catcher and doing monk's friend back to back is going to be a really good idea because that gives us the opportunity to actually get some pretty decent uh wood cutting levels as well actually i am curious how much wood cutting xp does monk's friend give 2000 wood cutting experience so that would put us at 2675 if we were to do it right now uh let's see target experience would be 2675 that puts us level 15 there we go okay so our wood cutting level is actually complete right now uh we're gonna go ahead and start sending some fire making in this case here we also should get thieving up to level 20 i'm also trying to think of when i should do the stronghold of security because the the sooner we do that and the sooner we get the 10k the better but everything in there can easily one shot me i want to try and keep myself below 30 hit points before the 99 hp grind because that's a good hit point amount to be at as you don't take as much damage from the cold this is a very similar grinding path that all iron men know it is just burn these four logs hop worlds burn the next four so we're going to be doing that for a little bit so witch's potion get thieving to 20 monk's friend imp catcher 
Uh, I am also going to slide in there a sneaky little sea slug. Uh, because that's why we're doing the fire making right now. We can get trout uh, fishing unlocked immediately, which will take care of one of the more difficult clue requirements for beginner clues. I think I do want to do Witch's House uh, after Imp Catcher. So that way we at least, I, I just would like to have more HP to work with. 10 HP is a little spooky. There's a few grinds of this game that I'm honestly like really scared of. Uh, the biggest one being Corrupt Gauntlet. I am terrified of the Corrupt Gauntlet grind because that grind has already been extremely bad on my uh, on my regular iron. I am at 770 something kills. I think 772 kills right now with no enhanced seed. Um, and I've died like 200 or so times and Gauntlet's not a safe death. It is a very dangerous death. So I'm just, I'm just worried about whether or not the account is going to be ready by the time I attempt the gauntlet. And then I'm worried about how much time I'm going to have to spend at the gauntlet. Actually, we'll, we'll do Cook's Assistant before we leave Lumbridge. That'll be the thing we do after we get five fletching, just because it's, it's here. We're already here as well. We can also go ahead and start uh, Restless Ghosts and Rune Mysteries. Those are some quests that combo into each other extremely well. I kind of think and I should implement a clue rule where if I do a clue, I have to drop everything and do it until I have gotten every single cape reward that I've gotten from that clue tier. What is happening? What is what is going on? Are these all bots? There's no way these are all bots. OK, no, hold on. I got to I got to investigate this now. Where are these guys going? They are all going to the spinning wheel? That's so many. <laughs> oh my God. What world is this? Yeah, world 333. We're just seeing an entire train of bots going, going to and from the crafting wheel. Yeah, this world, the next world over, completely silent. Just a couple of people. <laughs> oh, there's so many. Why are there so many of them? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, what a shit show. See, the also good part is, is that killing the goblins isn't going to be a waste of time because I need a champion scroll. I need to get every champion scroll because I need to get the champion cape, which you only get after defeating all of the champion monsters. So goblin champ scrolls are gonna be actually extremely important. Egg, we need that egg, give egg think here's everything you have asked for and that's 300 cooking experience level four cooking sup bud i need a quest quest cape's gonna be an important cape to get that's also a cape that i'm gonna have to conti continuously maintain because just having that cape in my bank is not going to be good enough i need to actually be able to wear the cape as well if i have it actually while i'm on the way here i do need to do missile and mystery Need that crafting XP, so may as well just knock it out right away. I click the thing that it tells me to click. Wow, I solved the puzzle all on my own. All right, time to go do the boss or something. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be super annoying without any run energy too. Uh, at least you can't die. Your knife is not as sharp as my helmet. All I need to do is headbutt you and your life is over. Give me that crafting XP. I want crafting XP. I did not do this for nothing. All right, cool. So level six crafting. What is what exactly does that give me? When can I start like actually cutting gems? Well, not level six. That's for sure. <laughs> wait, wh wait, hold on. What's this picture? Father Ernie, who is this? Is this you? Father Ernie, was this you as a young lad? Man, age has not done good things to you, sir. <laughs> Who is this? A patron of the king looking royal. This is this is what paintings of the king look like? Oh, poor guy. I wonder how many painters he's gone through. <laughs> before 1kc third age robe see the thing is is like that would be super hype 
but that wouldn't be good for the goal of this account. It would be best if I got the Druidic Cloak first KC or something like that. There are two third age capes that I have to get. Yeah, that one's going to be like one of those we'll get there when we get there type moments. <laughs> we're, we're not going to worry about that reward until like we're getting to the ending stages of this account. That, that'll be one of those capes that we grind for along with the 2000 top cape or something like that. You do have a cabbage cape. How much is a cabbage cape? 150 coins? Diango! Diango! How does that cost that much? How much? Uh, what about the Chronicle? 300 coins? Diango! You're killing me right now! Okay. Uh, so this was a bust. I didn't expect this to hard stop us. Okay. I gotta hop around worlds a little bit, see if I can find one with wines. Because right now I'm thinking that maybe doing stronghold security would not be a bad idea at all but I'm just worried about my health, but I also need to get like a staff of air and stuff like that in order for me to be able to properly train magic. So it's like, ah, I know this probably won't do anything, but I do want to bring a shield. Ju just on the off chance that the one or two extra defense points that it gives me could save my life. Just in case, you never know, you never know, you never know. Let's go unscathed. What damage? <laughs> I've got 10 health. Way too good, man. Can't be stopped. That's not true. I could very easily be stopped and please don't stop me. <laughs> I would like to not have wasted 12 bucks today. I don't have a main account to be able to actually bond up the hardcores. So I actually had to pay real earth dollars for this one. All right. This is the scariest corridor here. These things have a max hit of a nine. I'm going to just immediately chug wine here. Good. Nice. Made it through. Ha! Oh, why do you hit through the door? <laughs> Good thing I drank. Oh my goodness. If that hit me a one and then a nine, that would have killed me. I'm going to chill out for a second. I want like 15 run energy for this room. I don't want to take any chances. These things I feel like can hit like a truck as well. Those spiders were the scariest monsters. Look at them here. Just look at them. All of them just stanced up right there. Wanting to get barraged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 12 run energy can make this. 12 run energy can make it. Ow, that hurt. Okay, awesome. Easy. No, no issue at all. Not, not even breaking a sweat. Just got 10k. Uh, a few things that I want to immediately spend this cash on. Very first thing is a staff of air. Actually, no. Would a fire staff right out the gate be better? Uh, do they even have any fire staffs though? Because that is a very important thing to take a look at as well. I need to also while i'm out here buy a wizard hat and a wizard shirt from the Celia, so i have a little bit of magic bonus right at the very beginning for all my magic related stuff Azalea, uh you don't sell what i thought you sold you sell a cape though first cape on the account red cape a momentous occasion the random impulse buy two coin red cape let's go and all these capes are going in my bank, by the way, and they will stay in my bank. So once I get a cape, I have that cape available to me at all times. Uh, what do I need to start Gertrude's cat? Because I should probably start thinking about growing some cats here pretty soon. No requirements. Okay. Should have bought a sardine from the uh, shop at Port Serum, but I haven't even been to Port Serum yet. So whatever. We're at least going to grab the Dougal leaves and start the quest until the lumber yard. When we get in the Wildy Capes, I will need to get them. I don't know when yet. Because because like a part of me thinks that the best time for me to get them is right now when I'm super low level, when there are very few accounts that can actually attack me. But that's boring. <laughs> And I want this to be entertaining and exciting. I want there to be an element of risk whenever I go out into the wilderness every single time. So I'm actually probably going to wait till med level before I start knocking out the team capes. I also did think about too of buying each team cape in number order. So I have to get team one, then team two, then three, then four, then onwards. What about team zero? I'm just going to have to get that when I get it. Maybe once I get the team zero cape, that is when I start the, uh, the team cape grind because that's a that's a clue reward and i guess while i'm here i also should do the natural history museum oh my god there's so many things that are like while i'm here while i'm here while i'm here <laughs> while i'm here i should buy a house <laughs> or i should at least do daddy's home because i think you get a house for free if you do daddy's home and house tabs i i should do that quest <laughs> i hate the name of that quest by the way it's so 
that's so bad. Uh, 10 planks, 14 nails, five bolts of cloth, one saw, one hammer. Okay, so I've got a, I've got a bit to go. I do need to go to the lumber yard to get that. So I will save my lumber yard trip for when I go and get the cat. Okay, now we need, how many red berries was it? We're, we're just gonna like get like five or six red berries because we're gonna need red berry pie as well. Uh, that's not the fastest way that will be. Nope, that way has wizards. We're gonna go this way. That way has bears. We're gonna get some wine. <laughs> okay, are you the guy that sells the wizard shit? You do sell wizard shit and you sell a yellow cape. Yeah, we got another cape. <laughs> I didn't expect that cape. Let's go. We got a yellow cape now. Look at this. It's basically the two halves of the jester cape. <laughs> Awesome. I gotta wear the red cape for right now because it matches the hardcore armor, but we now have color options. I can't believe I got that excited over a yellow cape. <laughs> over a surprise yellow cape. <laughs> what is this series gonna do to me? Oh no. Can't wait for the green cape excitement. <laughs> Listen, man, it, I, don't, I don't know how I'm gonna handle myself when a green cape happens. If you show me a cape that is green, and it's on my screen in my inventory. It's over, man. It's over. <laughs> Fine on red berries now. If I somehow run out of red berries, then I deserve to lose. I think I bit off a bit more than I could chew with this first round. Greatly underest or greatly overest underestimated how much time everything was going to actually take. All right, now we go up over here and murder Juliet in cold blood. A am I wrong though? Like I say that, but am I wrong? Cause that is exactly what we are doing to this, to this girl here. We, we are just giving her straight up poison while her cousin just slips in and goes, oh, hi, and then steals, steals the girl's boyfriend. You are tricking someone into drinking poison. That quest is 21 years old. Oh, I know. It was one of the first quests that came out with RuneScape. It still is just incredible, though, that that is that's still what they wrote. It's legal drinking age. Uh, OK, I'll be right back. I need a drink for that one. <laughs> No way. No way. Okay. I think my business in Varrock is done. Need to buy a Chronicle and stuff here. I just almost walked straight over to Port Serum. I need to actually do things. I have some chores I need to do. I, I am so scatterbrained right now. I need to get the Chronicle and the Cabbage Cake. One of these, one of these, and five, ten. Yeah, that's a good amount. What does a cabbage cape look like? Oh, the cabbage cape's silly. I kind of like that. <laughs> the cabbage cape's funny. Yellow cape and red cape. Red cape looks best so far, so we're gonna keep red cape. Etty, give me magic. All right, there we go. Level four magic. Now we are on our way to Arduin. We're gonna go ahead and be a little thief. We're gonna steal a whole bunch of stuff, and then we're gonna be nice and help out some monks. The first 20 thieving, I also kind of want to get a couple of thieving levels by stealing some silk. I think, like, go to level 20 thieving, stealing cake, and then level 25 thieving, stealing, uh, silk. Why a hardcore? Uh, because why not? I feel like the high risk challenge and the, uh, and the fact that I do have only one life during the actual challenge itself, I feel like adds a bit of an interesting perspective into this. Plus also I've wanted to make a hardcore for a very long time and this is a really good excuse. <laughs> this entire series is basically my excuse for being able to start a hardcore Iron Man. All right, now for Silk. This one's actually slightly scary just because of the market guards, but I think I'm fine here. All right, 25 thieving. We've hit the level goal. Let's just go ahead and at least get the inventory filled up, just get a nice round amount of silk so that way we can sell that later and get some good cash. Oh, I should grab this candle while I'm here. Oh, I can get the boots of lightness while I'm here. Oh, yes, that'll be very good. I should get the boots of lightness like right now. Okay, uh, that has been done. Let's go ahead and get the boots of lightness and start grinding up fire making up to level 30. 20 fire making, 10 levels to go. All right, once this inventory of logs is done, that's gonna be the end of stream. All right, well, 
either way, that is going to do it for me tonight. I want to thank everybody for coming out, enjoying stream, and uh, checking out or it's the stream. If you want to be notified when I go live again, go ahead and give me a subscription. And I do want to thank everybody so much for watching. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your nights. <laughs>